What makes a luxury car a luxury car? Is it the price? Is it the badge on the grill? If you ask the folks at Hyundai, they'll say neither. Hi, I'm Tom Blackett, and this is the Veracruz, seven-passenger crossover sport utility vehicle, one that Hyundai is comparing to offerings from not only its traditional rivals Toyota and Honda, but also to Lexus and Mercedes. Those are pretty high aspirations for a car that starts at only $27,000. Then again, Hyundai's a car company that knows all about value, so maybe the Veracruz is the real deal. Let's take a look and find out. To some people, the words Hyundai and luxury may never go together. But to those who know about the Azera, they already do. That car set a new standard for sub-$30,000 sedans. And now Hyundai is applying the same philosophy of affordable luxury to the Veracruz. And from the outside, it's pretty convincing. Its fluid lines, chrome accents, and clean-looking rear ends seem to speak of a higher class. In fact, if you view the Veracruz from its profile, it's apparent Hyundai designers have taken inspiration from some of the more upscale brands on the road. Inside, the Veracruz truly has the makings of a more expensive car. Tightly trimmed leather upholstery covers the seats and door panels, handsome wood trim wraps around the front of the cabin, and at night, blue ambient lighting creates a serene mood. They've also paid attention to the details. There are plenty of padded, low-gloss surfaces, and the storage compartments align with soft material. Other high-end convenience features include automatic rain-sensing windshield wipers, a backup warning system, a power lift gate, dual-zone climate control, and of course, the all-important rear seat entertainment system. These are all great features, but we'd be amiss if we told you the Veracruz had it all. Two glaring omissions from this vehicle are the lack of an in-dash navigation system and the absence of a backup camera. Not what you would expect from a luxury crossover. But a luxury car is about more than simply the way it looks. It's the little features that really make a difference, like this proximity key which automatically unlocks the doors when I approach the car. And since it's programmed with my personal settings, the mirrors, the driver's seat, and the steering wheel all adjust just the way I like them when I turn on the ignition. That's good stuff. So you build yourself a nice car, put in some smooth leather, tack on some cool features, and presto, you got yourself a luxury car. Yeah, not so fast. There are definitely some things you need to pay attention to, and one of those is interior noise. Hyundai engineers have been paying attention, because the Veracruz is a quiet ride. Not a lot of road noise, not a lot of tire noise, a little bit too much noise around the windshield, a lot of buffeting at highway speeds. Not a big deal, but definitely noticeable. Engine noise isn't too bad. Give it a lot of gas if you're trying to do an aggressive pass or something like that. You hear it, but it's refined. You don't get a lot of thrashiness. Speaking of the engine, 260 horsepower. Hyundai's put this right in the meat of the market. There's a new Toyota coming out later this year that's got 270 horsepower. Current Honda's got 244 horsepower, so at 260, right where they want to be. Unfortunately, tapping into all those horsepower can be a little bit difficult sometimes. It's either because of the way transmission's tuned or it's throttle response, one or the other. On the highway, when you're going for an aggressive pass, you really dump the throttle, there's a delay. But the good thing about the transmission is not only that it's a six speed, a lot of cars in this segment are stuck with five speeds, it's a six speed automatic that includes a manual shift feature. It's a really a nice feature on this car. As far as comfort goes, there's no complaints inside this Veracruz. The seats are nice and soft, they're pretty spacious, nice and wide in the back. The leather that we've got in this car is the upgraded leather, so it feels really good. It's a comfortable ride. Visibility is good, I've got really big mirrors here, I've got big windows on the side, lots of greenhouse. There's a little bit of a big rear pillar back there, but there's a small quarter window that gives me a little bit of extra room. So if you're doing over the shoulder viewing and merging, no real issues. Hyundai's done a good job with the Veracruz. It's relatively quiet, it's definitely comfortable, it's got good visibility, powertrain is, is good. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with the car. I think it'll do well against its competition. It looks like a luxury car, it feels like a luxury car, and it pretty much drives like a luxury car, albeit one that's not terribly responsive. But there's no denying that Hyundai's new Veracruz is a nice crossover and a great value. Add in the company's 10-year warranty, and owners are sure to enjoy years and years of service. From MyRide.com, I'm Tom Blackett. We'll see you next time.